All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Early stream, because I have work today. But it's uh, it's villager hunt time and Animal Crossing. Isn't that exciting? Remember when everyone was playing Animal Crossing like, like six months ago? No, five months ago. Oh man. Yeah, my my play has definitely decreased in uh the last month or so. I'm playing every day, at, at least a little bit, but nowhere near the amount that I used to play. I used to play, I used to spend most of the day, if I wasn't working, just messing around on Animal Crossing. Way back in the yesteryear of April and May. Remember then? It, it's really hard to remember back then with how everything's been going. But, yeah. But, um, two days ago, we had, uh, Bill decide to move out. I almost didn't let him because I still haven't gotten that final emote for the jock personality type. But, but, but I was like, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it with Bill. Like, like if it had to be anyone on my island who said, I want to leave, it, it would, like, Bill would have been, like, number one. Like, not that I didn't like him, but, like, he was the one I was definitely the most okay with just saying goodbye to. Like, if, uh... If Deirdre had come up and said it, no chance. If Raymond had come up and said it, no chance. Gala wasn't leaving. Tangy. Well, Tangy went into bass. She's the newest one. You know what I mean, anyway. Yeah, this is the first time I'm booting this up today. Oh, we have a visitor at the campsite. I was kind of hoping that would happen. Um... Maybe we will do the, uh, all the hunting first, and then see who's at that campsite. Now, you know what? I'm, I'm curious. I want to see who's at the campsite now. First, let me check my mail. I have a mail from Tammy. My special biscuit. I've kept every note I've gotten from a friend. I totally have to rent an off-island storage site to hold these notes. But they're from friends, so it's worth the cost. I only get to hold 300 pieces of mail, and you have an off-island storage site? You're in it. Yeah, you say that all the time, but they really need to add more dialogue. Very much so. That, that, would, be a, that would be a wonderful thing. Yeah, this is a very early morning video. I want to uh, make sure to get this done before work. Let's see how much space do I have in my inventory. Not a whole lot, and my storage is finally full. I need to sell some stuff. I, I hoard stuff in this game, like, like this business. Alright, so let's get some of these in my pockets until I can't hold no more. It's probably right now. Yep, nailed it. I, I probably won't need more than 40 tickets. Sentences said moments before disaster. Now I'm going to make sure. I'm going to go make sure that nothing crazy has happened. And that the plot... Hi, to hi KK. Uh, and that the plot that Bill used to live in is still open. Because it should be. There's no reason it shouldn't be. He was there in the house yesterday, moving out, and now he is not. Yep, there we go. I just wanted to make sure the game wasn't like, actually, this time, we're moving someone in for you. Alright, so two things to do before going on this hunt. I have 40 tickets on me. I can potentially have, like, 60 more. And I could buy more with Nook Mile tickets if I want to. Interesting stickers. I think you should put a third one, though. Huh? What were we talking about with stickers? I'm, I'm lost. Uh, I had to say hi real quick to Deirdre, my wife. She wants to know about my other villager on the island. But I'm the one who's important, right? Yeah, look at that reaction. All right. And then let's go see who's in that campsite 
and then we'll get to the hunt. Hi, Gala. Uh, you're here. I might as well talk to you real quick. I love Gala. She's such a sweetheart. very excited to see who is in our campsite, but I can't, even if it's someone I want, I can't ask them to move in yet, because we gotta go hunting for that, uh, for that, that open plot. It'd be a very boring stream if I was just like, here's the stream to watch me go to a campsite. Tutu? Kinda cute. But I have three peppy villagers. So, which brings me to, what am I looking for? on this, uh, on this hunt. Nothing in particular. Just someone cool. I mean, it would be nice to have a cock so I can get that final emote, but... I mean, like, there's not a lot of jocks I I'm, like, totally cool with, and Bull was one of them, and you saw how that worked out. I was still totally fine with letting him go. Alright. It's time to start the hunt. Ticket number one. It'd be real cool if we just got a really good one on ticket number one. Although, again, last time, if I recall correctly, we got a good villager on ticket number one. And I let it go because I wanted to make a longer stream. Because I am a fool. But we got Tangy, so... You know, everything worked out real good. Tangy is amazing, and anyone who says she's not is a big dumb head. Their head is dumb, is what I'm saying. Sorry, I was uh, opening my note app in my iPad so I can keep note of everyone that I see. Today, anyone wants to know how you got the bridge to go diagonal. It, um, if you just if the gap is the right size. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, if the gap is the right size, then um, you could you could build a bridge diagonally. You just have to make sure you have enough lands on each side, and it's a proper size across. Yeah, I like I like my diagonal bridges. I like the little pointless bridge islands I have right behind my house. It makes me smile. All right, ticket number one. Who are we getting? Ticket number one, like, good like fishing right away, not playing on fishing right now. Oh, you're Poppy. Uh, it would be cool to have another horse. And actually, I, I kind of... Hmm, I have no horse right now. But I've had Poppy before. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. I've had Ed before. And he goes, hey! Yeah, I like his catchphrase. Hmm. Poppy. How are y'all feeling about Poppy? Vince McMahon demands that I shut the stream down and doesn't let me use the name Twinkle Games anymore. I did not know I was uh, a, an independent contractor of him. Man, I, got, I, I haven't been getting paid enough. You know what, Poppy's cool, but I'm not feeling it right now. Even though he's a horse, even though he goes, hey, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep moving on. Ticket number one, Poppy. I wish I had, like, any ability to video edit. I, I'm pretty sure I've said this in at least one of these other streams. Any ability to video edit so that when I put this on YouTube, I could edit out the bits between, um, between island hops. But, I mean, it's not like anyone watches my YouTube anyway, so it doesn't matter. That way, it'll be nice and edited for no one to see it. Ah. I, I gave up a long time ago on any possibility of gaining an audience in my streaming and such. Now I pretty much do it for just 
to entertain friends. And if I find other people and they happen by by by, that's awesome. Ticket number two. Let's do this. Alright. Who do we got? Who do we got? You are go Are you Velma? You can't see from the distance. Yeah, you're Velma. Meh. Not feeling it, Velma. Sorry, Velma. Not really into you. No offense to anyone who's uh who stands Velma over here. And the speedo. A libido. I don't remember all the lyrics. Ticket number two is Velma. Oh, you can still get new residents on your island if you get one of them to move out. Uh, every once in a while, one of your villagers will be like, I'm thinking about moving. And if you tell them, get out, then they'll move. But if you tell them, no, I'll die for you, then they'll stay. Because villagers have no free will of their own. I, I wish they'd up the villager limit. In Animal Crossing on the GameCube, you had uh, either 15 or 16 as your max. And I get this game is more complicated than the GameCube Animal Crossing. I get that we've seen uh, evolutions in technology over that time. <clears throat> but that's one of my two things that I would really like to see. <clears throat> it's either... Well, I'd like to see both of them. Uh, increased dialogue and more capacity for villagers. That make me a real happy guy. Is that Allie? I think it's Allie. And I'm very... I don't even know what my, uh... My standards are for picking a villager. I, I really don't know. It's hard to say. Like, every once in a while someone will strike me, and I still won't take them. Every, every once in a while someone I don't expect will just grab me and I'll take them. But I don't know. Not Allie. Not not Velma. And Poppy was close. But yeah. Ticket number three was Allie. Alligator. Get it? It's a clever word play. Kind of clever word play. Oh wow, I just realized I let Bill go yesterday and I did not ask anyone if they wanted him to move in. So I guess he went to the void. It's alright. Bill was cool, but we never really clicked. He, he was he, he was just there to fill a role, is really the point of it. Like, it wasn't just, I want this villager, he's, he's great. It was, I want a jock, and he's the one that offends my senses the least. So, yeah. Alright. Who do we got for ticket number four? That is a cute bird. A cute bird whose name I forget. Piper. She is a peppy type. I think the one... I will not allow on my island it's peppy types because we have three peppy types on my island. We have Audie, we have Tangy, and we have Tabby. And it's weird because I love all of them, but if I had to choose one to move out, it's gonna be a controversial opinion. If I had to choose one to move out, it would be Audie, and it's simply for the fact that she's been with me since the, like the very beginning, uh, she doesn't have her like her unique house because she's been with me since the very beginning, and I just really like Tangy and Tabby. I, I'm biased towards cats, to be fair, but 
Tangy is amazing. Tabby is awesome. Audie is fantastic, but... Like, I'm not gonna kick her out. But if she came up to me and said, I'm thinking about moving, I think I'd, I think I'd let her go. I, I, I'd let someone else come and uh, indulge in the Audie, because Audie is one of the more popular villagers. She is very much up there in popularity. Uh, she's a new villager to this game, and people would probably give me stuff for her. So, <laughs> wow. Points of Animal Crossing, sell your friends. Ticket number five, you're a bird. Frank? Frank. Frank. You're an, you're an old man, you're, you're grumpy. Frankie. Eh. Not feeling Frank. Sorry, Frank. I like your name, though. Very simple. Very to the point. You don't gotta worry about all these other syllables. No, no, no letters that aren't pulling their weight. No letters that are just sitting there not being heard. Every single letter of your, your name is efficiency, Frank. And maybe I should have taken you just for that fact. I respect it. But we're moving on. Time for ticket number six. So I have 40 tickets on me. And I have another 50 or 60 in the, in the, uh, the old inventory, the old, uh, storage. I would like for it not to go through all those tickets. I think my longest, uh, my longest hunt was about 50 tickets. Maybe 40? It was somewhere in the vicinity of 40 or 50 tickets was my longest hunt. And then, like, the last hunt was about 10 tickets, and Tangy showed up, and I was like, turn the stream off. We, we got a winner. Ooh, a bamboo island. <laughs> Ticket number six is... Um, some manner of squirrel. Peanut. You are peppy. Bye. Sorry, Peanut. You're cute. I'm not gonna lie. Adorable little villager. I like your blue stripe. It, 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 it complements kind of your pinkness very much so. Name is not as efficient as Frank's. <laughs> yeah, the the only pe the my favorite Peanut is the cat Peanut. That's right. That makes no sense to anyone who might be watching other than one person. But the cat peanut is the good peanut. My friend has a cat named Peanut. Not, uh, not too much of a backstory there. Didn't have to, uh, didn't have to dive deep into the, into the recesses of my mind to give you a, an epic story. I'm a writer, but I can't get much out of that. It's a cool cat, though. Peanut's pretty, pretty great. Meow. That's what he says. Just figured I'd demonstrate for everyone. Ticket number seven. Oh, this is a weird island. This is a very weird island. Stew. Yeah. What, what kind of island is this? This is odd. I, I don't think I've ever seen this island. I probably have and I'm just forgetting. This is the... One rock over here? It's dangerous to climb any higher? What kind of... What is that? Why is it dangerous? Oh, I didn't know there was a weed there. Oh, well, I, I have a... I have room for weeds in here. Oh, I thought it was going to be gold, at least. For... What the hell islands is this? 
I don't like it. I'm getting out of this island. I'm not a fan. It, it bothers me. Oh, wait a minute. Is this Shark Island? Yeah, this has got to be Shark Island because it's uh, shaped like... There's, the, there's the, the, the river in the middle and that middle island is shaped like a fin. Let's look in the ocean real quick. See if we can see a shark. That's not a shark. Wait, is it? That is a shark. I mean, I've caught all the sharks. So... Sucks that we finally found Shark Island when we all need the sharks. I'm, I'm gonna try to catch a sea of shark anyway. Got, if, you, if you come to Shark Island... Oh yeah, that might be a sucker fish. That's very possible. Is this true? Oh, that's the that's ocean sunfish. It's huge. I love it. Not as uh, expensive as sharks, but I like them. It's goofy. I don't have inventory space for another shark. That's a sentence that people always say. Now, you know what? I could drop some of this stuff. Why would I drop it instead of sell it? That, that's a dumb, a dumb thought. And I don't need another shark. It's fine. We're, we're, we're going. We got the shark islands. We, we, there's, this is so many sharks. My god. That was bigger than its shadow and you just put it in your pocket. I'm confused. We all are. Don't worry. <laughs> Goodbye, shark islands. Uh, if I... It is, it, it's nice to finally see shark islands. Ticket number seven was Stu. And he's a cow. A bull, rather. Beef stew. You get it? I'm. Uh, you're welcome. Alright. <clears throat> Wish there was some way to just expedite this talk, this uh, conversation, too. Just like, let's say when you're on your way away from a Nook Mile Islands, it could just say, Hey, do you want to go on another one? You got more tickets. It'd be real simple to just put that in. But I get it. This is just what they do. This is just the way Animal Crossing has always been. Lots of dialogue. Uh, repetitive dialogue. It's just the way it is. And, you know, I, I like it. So, I'll deal. Cool. Who's ticket number eight? I see them already. It is... Bertha. Meh. Yeah, a lot of people are meh for me right now. Oh, I thought you were peppy for a minute. No, you're you're a normal villager, but still, eh, not feeling Bertha right now. <clears throat> yeah, so it'd be cool to get a jock that I actually like, but not uh, specifically aiming for jocks. If if I don't get that emote, I don't get that emote. I mean. My, like I said early in the stream, my, my time playing this game has reduced a bit. More than a bit. A lot. <laughs> so I'm not, like, desperate to get every emote. It would be cool if I got every emote. I think I'm missing three right now. The jock, the, cr the cranky, um, and the lazy? I got Cube, and I could get him to get the lazy, and I got Doby for the cranky. Well, it's all male personalities that I'm missing. I guess I just make friends with the females in the game much easier. I wish... I wish that was, uh, true in life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ticket number nine. You are a monkey. I think you are Louie. Yeah, you're a Donkey Kong. Uh, <clears throat> he's a he's a jock, but not big on the apes, to be honest. 
Not really a big ape fella. All right, that's ticket number nine, Louie. I could go real quick, sell that, um, sell that ocean sunfish so I have a free slot in my inventory. Not that it really matters. <clears throat> Alright, so, oh well, I'm gonna have a free slot in my inventory after this ticket. Because this is ticket number 10. And that's, uh, stacks, uh, 10, or what they come in. I'm hoping to not go too long with this. Like the last, the last one I did, I was all <clears throat> something in my throat. I was all uh, set to sit there and be in for the long term, and then we got like ten tickets in and got tangled. This one, you know, I got things to do for work. I got time. I got plenty of time. I got like three hours before I really need to... Longer than three hours before I need to leave. But, still. Uh, would like to not spend all of that doing this. You're a cool bird. Are you Jay? <coughs> Jacob, I was close. Cool, but eh. seems to be my general consensus on nearly every visitor I see. Eh. Very common word in my vocabulary today. Not even much of a word. Alright. I never put this in full screen. What was I thinking? I don't know. I mean, it's not like some ridiculous thing. Like, what was I thinking? <clears throat> like, looking back and like... Like someone looking back on the clothes they wore in the 1980s. I wasn't thinking it's in the 1980s. I was, uh... I was a baby for part of it, so, uh... And the rest of the time, I wasn't really choosing my own clothes. I was... I was a maximum of five in the 80s. All right. Ticket number 11. Coming on up. How do you like my butterfly backpack, by the way? I think it's very stylish. I still need to catch a bunch of bugs and fish this month. Last month, I let the month pass without catching all the fish. And I wouldn't have. I would have paid more attention. But I knew none of the fish that were in introduced in August were going away in August. So it wasn't like a rush. But there are some that I absolutely have to get. This, uh... Groucho. There are some that I definitely have to get this month. Like, there's a king salmon that shows up in September, and leaves in September. I haven't gotten him yet. Uh, yeah. That's another sign that my play, my playtime has gone down. Because initially, every time it was a new month, I was like, I gotta get a fish and bug right now, and I'd have a bunch of them on the first day. <clears throat> Not so much anymore. <laughs> Ticket number 11 is Groucho. Yeah, they, introduce, they have like... There's like six or seven new bugs this month and like... Four or five fish. I forget. I already caught a couple of them. And I still have a... Uh, Two fish from August I haven't caught. What is it? Um, ah, oh God. What the hell is that fish? The, the, the manta ray, and though technically not a fish, the sea turtle. I 
I just got the moray eel yesterday. And that was an August fish. Falling behind. Alright, ticket number 12. Alright, you know what I'm gonna say? Um, I'm gonna limit myself. I'm gonna only use the 40 tickets I'm holding. Hopefully I'll use less. But, if we don't find someone... Actually, no, no, even better. <clears throat> if we don't find anyone by that 40th ticket, we're gonna go back to the islands, we're gonna see who's on that campsite. And if I really like the person on the campsite, I'll invite them. Otherwise, I will use one final ticket. Wait, shoot, what was that guy's name? I forgot to take it down. Was that ta Yeah, so that's, that's the plan. That, yeah, that's a tank, alright, whatever. Uh, I, I, let's just keep canceling out so we don't accidentally invite him. Yeah, so that's the plan. I have 40 tickets. I started the, the this one with 40 tickets. If I don't find anyone I like in those 40 tickets, <coughs> then um, we'll check the campsite. And if I like the campsite villager, I'll go for them. Oh wait, no, we checked the campsite already. It's Tutu. Right. Alright, I'm not really nuts about Tutu. So, back to the original plan. If I don't find someone I like in the 40 tickets, then that 40th person, no matter who it may be, will be my new villager. We're at 12 right now. Well, we're going on number 13. So this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be like, you know, can I set can I find someone that I'm happy with, or do I just have to settle for random number forty? I'll be playing the game, you know, like a lot of people intended to, where where you just go to an island and whoever's there you take because you just do it. I would imagine that was the intent of the designers. It's like, oh, they go to an island, there's a new person there, they invite them. They didn't expect people to be as picky as we all are. Probably. Run around this whole thing. Oh, wait, was, she in the was this a spiral? Oh, I could have just. Okay. Kid. Kid is cool, but. <laughs> Kid is really cool, actually. Very chill, chill dude. His, his phrase is what? But, nah. Not really... Not really feeling Kid. Alright. That was number 13, Kid. Nearing the midway points, well, sort of, we're, we're, we've really only just passed the quarter of the waypoint. And it's been like a half hour or so. Alright, let's keep going with number 14. I mean, it could technically, it could end up being the midway points. Because we don't know what ticket I'm going to stop on. But based on the fact the 40 is our maximum, we've just passed like the quarter of the waypoints. We're getting close to the midpoint. Math. <clears throat> Alright, this is going to be our ticket number 14. Number 14, very unlucky number in the Royal Rumble. Very unlucky. I don't think, think 13 would be unlucky, but not in the Royal Rumble. It's number 14, baby. Lots of people's pushes failed, some people died. <laughs> Marcy. Eh. And, and are you. No, no, you're normal. Okay. I thought you were another peppy. Oh god, if, if, if we don't find anyone in 40, then the, then the, then the, then the 40 ticket is a peppy villager. <clears throat> I like peppy villagers, but uh, four of them on an island is a bit overpowering. 
I don't need four villagers telling me that I'm fab. Or, uh, telling me how many miles it takes to walk around the moon. Or walk to the moon. Whatever it was. <clears throat> I should have found, like, some... Some, uh, license-free music to play in the background of this, probably. But that's too much effort. Hence why I'm not a popular streamer. Alright, ticket number 15. Who's it gonna be? I don't know. If I already knew. That would be weird. Mott. I'm not even gonna talk to you. The lions are a disappointment now. I've mentioned this before, I'm sure of it. But my favorite lion in the game, Aziz, was gone after the first game I played. After the GameCube one. No more Aziz. He was my favorite, not only my favorite lion, he was my favorite villager. And they got rid of him. <clears throat> That's the third thing I want them to do in an update. Alright, so this, this, this is what I want to see for updates. I want to see increase villager dialogue. I want to see increase the amount of villagers you can have on islands. I want to see add Aziz back to the game. It'll be called the Aziz Update. It's all about villagers, specifically the best one, Aziz. Ticket number 16. I got a good feeling about ticket number 16. I'm feeling it. I I'm definitely getting a good feeling right now about number 16. Good feeling. Coming right up. Number 16. Good feeling. It's the villager that just left my island. Well, we know I like him, so I was right about my good feeling. I'm not taking him, because he just left. But the feeling was correct. <laughs> Number 16, Bill. Hello. Welcome to the stream that I'm doing. Welcome to my never-ending loop of trying to find a villager. That I like. We are on ticket number 17. Ticket number 17 out of a, a, a total of 40. I have like 55 more, but I'm holding 40, and that is as far as we're going. Oh, yes, Koopo. I didn't notice because uh, I, I saw the emote on my, my on my TV, but I couldn't tell from this um, from the smallness of it from the distance what it was. That is indeed a Moogle. I like those. They're, 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 they're nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight. Yeah, this is ticket number seventeen. <clears throat> Getting closer to that midway point. Drago? Hmm. What personality type are you? Eh, no, if, if he was a jock, I would have taken him. He's cool. I like Drago. He's the only dragon villager in the game. Well, he's technically an alligator. But... Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for calling my OC cute. I appreciate it. That's my little twinkle tail. I made her... I created her... Nine years ago! Goodness! 
All right, ticket number 17 was Drago. Now we are going on to ticket number 18, for that is how the map works. See, I do kind of want to get a pony-related tattoo. I really do. I know people who, in my life who don't like ponies will be very judging of it, but I don't care because it was an important thing in my life. So, I think I will probably eventually get something pony-related tattoo. It's just a matter of when and what. Not so much where, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on my own. Right, so ticket number 18. You're a penguin. Which penguin are you? Uh, Tex? Tex. Got it. I'm, I'm, I'm a smartman. Watch clouds tail. Yeah, it's been, it's been a bit. <laughs> Looking forward to the new show. Still have not watched Pony Life. Not out of any uh, non desire to. Just out of I just haven't yet. <laughs> All right. We're moving on to ticket number 19. <laughs> We're one away from the halfway point that I keep mentioning. No, no, not, no, no, I, I, I lied. That's not what I want to do. Uh, well, that's some time. <laughs> that's why I really wish they could uh, expedite this a little bit. They could um, make it a little faster, squish the dialogue into much less... Choices. Just so it's like I've gotten six things down on the on the uh, dialogue tree, and then I accidentally hit the wrong button, and now I gotta go back to the beginning. Isn't that fun? All right. Who's in store for us for ticket number 19? Where, oh, I saw someone. Rosie! Oh. You're peppy, though. I have three peppy villagers. I'm Eric. Oh. If I didn't have three peppy villagers, I'd take you, Rosie. You're very cute. I love cats. But I can't have four peppy villagers, three of whom would be cats. If I am one, like, very. I, I think it would be cool to have an all cat island. But, first off, I'm never getting rid of Deirdre. And second off, there's a lot of other people I don't want to get rid of. But I do have three cats on my islands right now. So, it's close to all cats. It's, it's three-tenths cats. That's, like, two-tenths more than only having one cat. Three-tenths more than having no cats. All right, we're on ticket number 20. Number 20 of 40. Oh, mind me, I'm stretching. It's hard work doing this. It's really not. It's tedious. It sure isn't hard work. All right, who do we got? Number 20. Uh, Pippi? I'm not taking her, but your name is Pippi, right? Yeah, you're Pippi. 
Not puppy, Pippi. There we go. Why are they giving me so many Peppy villagers? The Peppy Pippi. Pippi's Peppy. Peppy Pippi, not puppy. I bet. Peppy Pippi, not puppy, and we started with Pappy. Poppy. I wonder if Poppy has a Pappy. I wonder if Pippi has a puppy. I wonder if Poppy's Pappy has ever made, met Peppy the Pippi. There's another one that I'm not going to say. Yeah, Ra Raymond is one of my three cats. Raymond is great. I know there's some people out there who dislike him just for the fact that he is popular. But... He's great. Very, very nice, very nice cat boy. With very stylish glasses. And suit. And cool, uh... Cool... Heterochromia. Yeah, I've got Raymond, Tabby, and Tangy as my kitties. I got lucky with Raymond. It, it wasn't even a, a off a of villager hunt. Like, I ones, ones, ones like, I'll sell you Raymond for 7,000 Nook tickets. And I wouldn't do that. And then just the server I was in was like, the guy was like, I'm giving away Raymond for free. Who wants him? And I'm like, I want him. And then that was the long story of how I got Raymond. Ooh, Vivian? Chief, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to uh, say that you were the wrong gender. I like Chief, but... Hmm. Eh. Not really. That's ticket number 21. Chief. I'm still disappointed that I uh, flubbed on that, that tongue twister. About pa Pappy's Poppy meeting Pippy Peppy's Puppy who was taking a poopy. Heh. <laughs> See, I added the little word there. Don't ban me, Twitch, please. <laughs> Chief is pretty cool. Like, I... I, I there, every once in a while, I have villagers that I just pass up like this. But then, as I'm leaving, I'm like... That was a cool person. Why did I pass them? I'm gonna... I'm gonna retroactively justify that by saying that I already have a cranky wolf on my island. I have I have Doby, old man Doby. Yep, retroactively justified. You did it. Congratulations, team. All right, ticket number twenty-two. Who are we gonna get? What are we gonna get for Crimbus? What are we gonna get? Gotta keep it trim and wet. I didn't watch the the, the Tim and Eric. Awesome show, great job, Crimbus special now available on DVD last season. I forgot to. I'll have to watch it twice this this Christmas season. I, I ran the wrong way around. The villager's always on this side for this island. Hamfrey? The... The... Um, what's it called? The hamsters don't really do it for me that much. I should should stop for the money rocks, but I also don't have much space in my inventory. Yeah, it's alright. I'm not gonna waste stream time stopping for those money rocks. I've already been streaming for about 45 minutes now. I do have other things I'd like to do this morning. And I'm sure it won't be too interesting of a uh, time for the viewers to be like, I'm going to hit these rocks for five minutes. <laughs> not really, not really the most uh, engaging content. <laughs> All right, ticket number 23. Who are we going to get? Let's get through all the dialogue and then find out who we're going to get. 
We're nearing that that uh fateful ticket number. Slowly but surely, heading towards that fa final ticket. So we gotta find someone we like. Let me talk about that to Animal Crossing. Yep, pretty much. Alright, ticket number 23. <gasps> Diana! You have Diana! I like Diana! But here's the thing. I passed Diana another time. Because I have Deirdre on my island. And Deirdre is my wife, and she might get jealous at another pretty deer being on the island. She does kind of remind me of Rarity. She's she's got that personality. I wasn't. I almost called Rarity snooty, and that would have been an insult. Uh, she's white with a purple. Well, it's more pink, but purplish, pinkish hair. Hmm. I could. Uh, I could hear her dialogue in Rarity's voice. Oh, look at that side eye she just gave me. <laughs> oh, do I? Now, this is the conundrum, because my insane personality is like, Deirdre will be jealous. You're inviting another deer. On another doe onto this island. She knows she's the only one for me, but uh, thinking. Let me put up a thinking emote. Let me remember how to do that. Where it? There it is. No, that's daydreaming. Thought. It's very important that I did that, otherwise no one would ever know that I'm thinking. So... I think if I'm thinking this much about it, that I, I'm probably not gonna do it. She's great. She's fantastic. Diana is, is wonderful. But I think, and I'm gonna regret this. I think I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna regret it. Watch, I get like. Oh, I can't even think of someone that I specifically would want. What the hell is the name of that, uh. The, what's the name of the hamster everyone doesn't like? I don't dislike him. The one with the big weird blue smile. Rodney. Watch, I get Rodney as my friend. I wouldn't mind getting Rodney. He's kind of he's kind of funny. Sorry, Diana. I can't make my wife jealous. Deirdre will not be happy if I bring home another deer. And I got the best deer. The best deer is deer jerk. There are people who will be very angry that I just passed up Diana. There are people who will also be very angry when I tell them that I've passed Diana before for the same reason. I ha- and I also have a snooty on my island. Well, that, that, that means nothing, because the only personality I don't have on my island is, um, Jock. Right? Wait, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I have three peppies. And there's eight personalities. So that means after the three peppies, I have six others on my island, and the one that's flat. Okay, alright. What ticket number is this? 24? Alright, who do we got? 
number 24. How's it going? I'm just doing some recording. <laughs> Eugene. Eugene's pretty cool. I, I, I like, I dig the sunglasses. Hmm. Eh. Still not feeling it though. Not feeling Eugene. We'll let him go. That's ticket number 24. Got, uh, 16 more to go. Unless we find someone good. Let's see. Got other things to do today, so I hope we get this done. <laughs> number. Alright, number 25. I, I, I've passed Eugene before, too, and I don't know why. I like Eugene, but I just never feel like inviting him. I'm a weird fella. It's, a. Uh, I don't know how to just, how to explain what my tastes for inviting people are. I'm probably going to regret passing Diana. I'm almost certainly going to regret passing Diana. <laughs> I've had a number of the popular villagers. I I've had Anka. I let her go eventually. Oh, you're another, uh, you're another koala. You know what? Um, I know what koala I would stop for, for sure. If I, if I ran to Alice, I would absolutely take Alice. Alice is, Alice is adorable. I'm not really feeling Yuka. She's cool. She's, she's not bad. But, eh. That was ticket number 25 was, uh, Yuka. Yuka? Oh, wait. Which one? Um, because I know the stream is on a delay. What, you just got rid of Eugene? <laughs> oh, Alice. Oh. Alright, the stream is on much... I don't know why it's always on that much of a delay. Uh, I like Alice, though. I think she's cute. That's alright. Everyone's got different opinions, and no one's opinion is, is more valid than the others. Sydney? I, I don't remember Sydney the koala. I would have to look them up. Alright, ticket number 26, I believe? Think we're, uh, think we're on 26 right now? Getting close to that 30, which means getting kind of close to that 40. Oh, that's Nate? That's, this is the one, oh, I know exactly why it is. I almost wrote his name down as it. This is the one that reminds me of Kevin from The Office, because someone used him uh, as Kevin for a an animation redoing a, an office scene in Animal Crossing. <clears throat> yeah, he, he gives me a very Kevin vibe. I'm not gonna take him, but Kevin is one of my favorite characters in The Office, but still not gonna take him. <clears throat> Alright, nearing, coming on at uh, ticket number 27 next. You know what? If Rodney showed up, I uh, I might just take him. But we'll see. I mean, like, I could very much renege on that. I like some of the weird-looking villagers. Like, some of the ones that people want to like, like, Barreled? I'd probably take Barreled. And there are people out there who don't like Tabby. And I stri strongly disagree with them. Her face is awesome. She's got this... Mm, <clears throat> excuse me. An unconventional face, but it's fantastic. 
That that's like a that sounds a lot more insulting than I meant to. Be. <laughs> Wait, which koala is this? Is that Alice? I don't remember how she looks from behind. Ah! <laughs> it's Canberra. Sorry, I I didn't mean to like insinuate there's a bad that can't bear, but the face startled me. I was expecting Alice. Canberra's okay. I don't hate Canberra. But not feeling her. Why are we getting like why do we get three koalas almost in a row? And kind of four bears in a row, although koalas aren't like really bears, but people call them koala bears, so it's close. Right? I'm not remembering that wrong, right? Koalas are not actually bears? I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Not not much of uh, an animal scholar over here. Just want to make sure I have... Yeah, alright, so that was 27, alright. <laughs> Ticket number 28. We are almost at that three-quarter of the wet point. Are we going to find someone? No, damn it! Too, too, too distracted in my dialogue! But are we going to find someone we, can, we, we decide on, or are we getting stuck with number 40? I don't know. If I knew the answer, I'd... I'd tell you. But I don't. I'm running out of steam. <laughs> it always happens to me when we get this deep into a villager hunt and I'm streaming it. I like run out of things to say and then they, they start coming back. But there's always a point where I'm like, the hell do I say now? Oh, uh, you are Egbert. I've had Egbert on my island. I'm not gonna bother talking to him, it's alright. Nothing against him, but uh, he has previously lived on Whimsy before. Number 28 was Egbert. Moving on to number 29. Once again, because that is how numbers work. It's really weird if we just like moved right on to ticket 30 from 28. Oh, I was gonna make a joke, but it was the wrong the wrong number. I was gonna. Say. There was a series of books I read as a kid, uh, about Wayside Elementary. It was a it was a elementary school that was the the plans of the elementary school said that it was going to be one story tall and 30 classrooms long but uh the people the instructors misread it and they made it a uh, one classroom long and 30 stories tall and every uh every kid in it like all the kids were very strange that's sandy i don't even need to stop i know that that, that. Uh, the, all the kids there were really weird, but the reason I bring it up is that, um, the whole thing was, there was no 19th floor, like, e every time they would, uh, they would always mention there's no 19th floor, like, even when you read the first book, uh, chapter 19, and the weird thing is, the chapters weren't all about each floor, the chapters were about different kids, but anyway, you get to the 19th chapter, and it just said, there's no 19th chapter. There's no 19th floor. And then in one of the books, like, like it was a whole thing around the school. That was a mystical, like, there's no 19th floor. But then, um, BB fell into the 19th floor. And they were, like, keeping her in the, in the class with Miss Zarves. Look at all this stuff I'm randomly all of a sudden remembering. Uh, and... Yeah, like, there's, like, three chapters where, um, she was stuck in chap in the 19th floor. And her brother was there, I think. Her brother Ray. 
Because she always had stories about her brother Ray. Because her name was BB and her last name was Gun. And she always made up stories about having a brother Ray. And no one ever saw her brother Ray. But I think he was there on the 19th floor. <laughs> just randomly talking about Wayside School. That that I loved those books as a kid. And yeah, there was a TV show not terribly long ago. And I thought the TV show was good. Alright, there's Ed. We have also had him on the island. Ed is great. But I'm passing him. He's been on my island before. But yeah, I loved Wayside School. I just watched um, Mr. Enter's uh, big long video on, on the cartoon that came out, like, maybe ten years ago. Oh god, was it ten years ago? Jeez, okay, well, I, it might not have been ten years ago, I could be wrong on that, but the cartoon version that came- that was ticket number 30, by the way. The cartoon version that came out, he had a big long video on it. And I totally agree with him that it is just a really, it's rife for animation, being animated. It's like, it needs to be, it, it's such a cartoony series. But that last cartoon, it was really weird in that, like, instead of having a cast, I, I get why they didn't have a cast of 30 kids, I guess. But... They could have had a cast of more than- it was like, it was Todd, Mauricia, Myron, Dana. I don't remember what other kids were important in the show, but like, they gave traits of other students to those students. Like, to, like, you could have kept all the other students in there too, or at least a good portion of the other students. You Midge? Midge. Like, you could have kept more than just, like, four or five students. Uh, I'm not feeling Mitch, sorry. I know I haven't been talking much about the game. There's not much to talk about. I was just, like, this is just bringing Wayside School to stream. But yeah, like, there was the, epi there was the episode where they're talking about pulling, um, pulling, what's your name, Mauricio's ponytail. But here's the thing, it was Todd, they were trying to get Todd to pull Maurice's ponytail. But the whole thing was that in the in the book, it was a pigtail, and it was Leslie, and I can't remember if it was Todd again. But, I don't know. I'd love to see another cartoon version of that show. And, um, have more kids. And Myron was weird in the show. Now I'm just echoing opinions that I saw from the video. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't see all the episodes of the old, of the show, and it was ages ago that I saw the show, so I kind of needed the, the video to remind me of it. But yeah. We want another Wayside Elementary cartoon. Alright, come on, ticket number 32, I gotta, re I gotta not get too distracted and go through all 40 tickets and not take the 40th person. That'd be just a waste. Oh boy, okay, I don't think there's a worry about going through 40 tickets. Because we got one of the jocks that I actually like. We got Sprocket, the robot ostrich. You're going to get back to surviving? No, you're not. You're coming to my island. Yeah, Sprocket. All right. Ticket number 32. We almost went to that 40. But, no. We stopped Sprocket. If it was Sprocket or Ribot, I was going to stop. And we got ourselves a Sprocket. I, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Just over an hour of streaming, too. I've been wanting to stream more recently, but I just... It's hard to find the time. I have so many games I'd like to stream, too. But it is just... It just has not been... It was not to be, recently. Oh, Sky got Dark Laws busy. Let's go real quick. Look at that plot of lands. Hi, Tabby! Let's 
talk to Tabby real quick. In the meme shirt I gave her. Good old Tabby. And there it is. The spot is reserved for Sprocket's new home. All right. So that was a hour-long stream. 32 tickets down. We got ourselves Sprocket. We ended up with a Jock Villager after all. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you for coming and watching. Whatever you're going to be doing with your day, I hope I hope you spend it well. I hope it's it's fun and cool. My day's not going to be fun. I'm going, going, going to work later. But, yep. Anyway, thank you for coming and watching. And uh, have a great day. See you whenever the next time I stream is. Who knows when it is. Hopefully tomorrow night. Because I've been meaning to get back to Paper Mario. But we'll see. Bye.